something simple of moving a box that was here over here because no one wants to reach a foot and a half into a room to turn off their lights. And I would love to receive a quick little rework box, but the um, last of the back is uneven. These are definitely reliant on you having a uniform plane. And the ones with the wings don't offer enough space. And the blue ones you see have a line everywhere are an American thing and not really available in my area. Oftentimes, you have to make do with what you have. Renovating stuff always throws you weird curveballs just aren't there when you do a new construction. That's a part of the fun. So what I'm electing to do is I'm gonna mount a piece of wood to the lath on the back and just screw an old box onto that and that will give me the depth to handle all the wires that I need while still allowing me to have a light switch where I want it. string on this bad boy so it stays in place in case I do something like that and drop it. Really want to make sure this thing's got the best chance of folding down that it has. And also fill some of the voids. Let's get this sucker in place. Since the only thing I care about is where the lath, not the plaster is binding. I'm going to screw it here. Get it nice and secure. I'll probably make a second one to go on the other side just so it's really well put in there. So I'm just going to install a second piece of wood on the other side because I don't think that guy's firm enough. I also don't want to do this more than once. I don't think in this particular case the wing outs would work. It's an old house, nothing's quite as firm as you'd hope it to be. I guess now I can try installing the box. Let's see how well that goes. with the uh, cable disconnected downstairs. It's time to pull this guy out. I'll be utilizing the hole down here. And if a little bit left, it'll pull straight out. It's coming, it feels really gross. Like, really gross. Like, I'm from 20 years ago and all the oils in me that were supposed to keep me fresh are degraded and gross. That's why we invented work gloves. Done. No buried wires for me. All right, so the box is installed and quite firm. And with a little heavy magic, the switch is in. So now we're over here on one of the plaster walls. This one is unforgiving. So we're trying to mirror the sockets from side to side. Approximately where it is, but we're also just going to put them on whatever studs are available. So if there's a stud there, we'll take it. There it appears to be. We'll bench off the ground. Time to get dusty. Okay, not so lucky on this one. They will have to do a bit of a repair here. But that's where the st true stud lies. But that's fine. It is what it is. Yeah, the fact this thing can actually find some semblance of where studs is or are through this much material is nothing short of amazing. So, if that's the line, I have this handy template for how big the little hole needs to be to fit a box. Tight line over here. That's the proper size. It's always harder than you think it is. Trick is you want to get at least a screw into every single lap present. I 
Okay, this one actually went a lot better than the last one. <sighs> last one, we lost one left flat. This one, they're both still top. Love to see it. A nice, easy fit in. Yeah, we can just pass that up. Long little screw holes around. plug here over to here, attaching it to a stud. This one was attached to lath and it's not really go well overall and over time. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach these slats to the rest with a big old block because currently if I cut into here, there'll be nothing holding that except the keys on the plaster. When I say keys, I mean a little overflow of plaster that gets pushed through. But way too much ketchup on a burger and I'm squishing out the sides, but then it hardens and forms a concrete-like material. That's what holds plaster up. I can feel there's not much back here right now. So I'll actually have a pretty flat surface to glue this onto. So I'm gonna use concrete adhesive to make a difference. Use pre-drill my holes. They do make an actual kit for reattaching your walls. I'll talk about that later. But all my Canadian homies, no, it's not available in the country. At least not readily and for a price anyone's willing to pay. see this stud, so I can just drop a chalk line down. So yeah, the outer mark is good enough to proceed with some caution. I'm gonna use that as the, the line. That should do her. around it and you'll never be able to tell. Don't even need to use the oversize. That's the last of the holes cut in this room. Just need to put one more in the middle where there's literally nothing to hold it to. Two more box to install. Be going on this wall. We'll actually be taking out this insulation. We're gonna do the insulation up now to find out what the heck's behind this wall.
up. This bar can fit in here nicely to support the outlet. 